The following Saturday, some of the reserve's recent good fortune seemed to rub off on the first team as they hosted relegation-doomed Peterborough United. From the Valley, we're joined by our commentator, Steve Dixon. Ensley League First Vision action returns to SE7 once again as Charlton look to improve on a dismal sequence of results that seen them lose their last four games without scoring a goal. Today, we welcome the division's bottom club, Peterborough United, who face relegation if indeed they lose today. And Charlton welcome back John Robinson, who has returning to the side after recovering from a foot injury. His last game was in the cup tie in January against Blackburn Rovers. Look out in the Peterborough side for a debutante in goal. Number one, Scott Cooksey, plays his first game for United t today. He is a recent signing from Bromsgrove Rovers. Bradshaw with the throw. And a sharp tackle coming in there, Nelson for Charlton now. Bringing the ball away down this near side. The left-hand side for Charlton, whipping the ball in. And the clearance was fluffed. Shot coming in, fine save by Cooksey, Robinson. Oh, and another good save by the debutante goalkeeper. Robinson trying to turn the ball back in. That'll give him plenty of confidence, the new boy. This is Leeburn, this is Walsh, and this is Nelson, Nelson's through, he's chance for Gary Nelson, oh it's a fumble and it's in, and after making two or three excellent saves in the first quarter of an hour, Scott Cooksey is finally beaten by Gary Nelson, who will be the first to admit he didn't strike the shot very well, but it just had enough power to creep over the line and Charlton lead 1-0. Number seven, Hackett. Looking the ball into the box, looking for Yorfa. And Charlton get it away. And this is Walsh. And that's a lovely first time ball from Colin Walsh out towards the right flank. Nelson cutting in. Gary Nelson on his left foot with a chance. Oh, fine goal. That's two for Gary Nelson. It's two for Charlton. And Peterborough showing why they are bottom of the division. They were sliced apart there by Charlton. Nelson cut in from the flank, went past the skipper. Steve Walsh and wallop the ball in for his second of the game. Colin Walsh will take this corner on the near side for Charlton. And there's Lieburn, 3 0. And dreadful defending there by Peterborough. Carl Lieburn profits. Colin Walsh lays on his third goal of the game. It's Lee Burns' ninth, ninth league goal of the season and his 15th in all. Bradshaw for Peterborough. This is Hackett. And now John McGlashan. Chance for Eorfa with the shot. Neat little chip from Dominic Eorfa. Just crept over the bar. And there goes Nelson again. He's on a hat trick. A good tackle coming in. Well, that may have been handball. That's a trifle harsh there. Referee Gerald Ashby penalising Steve Welsh for handling the ball. And it will be Colin Walsh with the free kick for Charlton. Pardew's making a run, and that's four. And Colin Walsh again, the provider. Charlton lead 4-0. And Alan Pardew notching his 10th league goal of a profitable campaign. The goalkeeper had no chance. Peterborough gamely battling away. Charlie had a chance there. And surely, oh, against the post from McGorry. And Peterborough, it isn't their day. As Garland brings it away for Charlton. Minto gets in there. Pitcher wins the header. Oh, and they're all over the place, Peterborough. And Gary Nelson's off. He's in search of his hat trick. 
There's a shot. Oh, deflection, and there indeed is his hat trick. Gary Nelson becomes the first player to score three in a game for Charlton since Jim Melrose some eight years ago. It took a deflection, but there's no doubt that Nelson will claim the goal. And that's a hat trick. And I think it's probably Gary Nelson's first. The goalkeeper again given no chance at all. And Charlton lead 5-0. And Bennett's in here. The ball falls kindly for Howarth. Howarth with a touch. Far post. Ken Charlery. And he's pulled one back. The former Mason striker pulls a goal back to give the Peterborough fans something to cheer about. It's not going to prevent them from going down. It was a fine goal, actually. A good leap at the far post gives Salmon very little chance at all. It's 5-1 to Charlton. And in fact, that is the last action of this game. Peterborough are relegated here at the Valley this afternoon, but Charlton fans will remember this afternoon as the day when Gary Nelson grabbed a hat-trick, the first player to get a hat-trick in a Charlton shirt for eight years. The final score at the Valley, it's Charlton Athletic 5, Peterborough United 1. Afterwards, our reporter John Fuller chatted to Net Buster Nelson, fresh from the first hat-trick of his career. Gary, 550 league games, first hat-trick. This gives me great pleasure in presenting you match ball, Thank duly you. signed Thank you. by all the players and everyone today. You, you must be very pleased. Well, it wasn't the... Uh, well, I suppose if you're going to get a hat-trick, it's, uh, it's a nice feeling anyway, but it wasn't uh, the best of hat-tricks, I, I don't suppose, but it felt very good anyway. The first and second, I'd, I'd like to say, were very similar in a sense that you broke through, were there for the shot, and then the first was a slight miss kick came off the keeper, and away yeah. it went. Well, the first one, it's a little, down that far end, it's a little bit uneven, the ground, and uh, I, I went to shoot and dummy the keeper, and the ball just seemed to run away a little bit from me, and got, got out in the stride pattern a little bit, and I just tried to tuck it low by the goalkeeper's feet, and uh, I think it just hit a little bobble in front of him as he went down, and just, just went under him, but it just crept in. It wasn't the best goal I've ever scored, but... Uh, it took a bit of pressure off everybody, I think. Second goal, I think the crowd thought the ball had got away from you, and then suddenly you were on top of it, cut inside, and th that was the end, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that was a little bit of hesitation on their part, really, with lack of confidence in the situation that they're in. That they, you know, uh, I thought he's, I think the centre half thought the keeper was coming, the keeper thought the centre half was going, and it just gave me a little bit of time. And once I'd actually turned him and was on my stronger foot, I felt good about the shot and caught it well. John also spoke to highly delighted co-manager Steve Grit. Gary's hat-trick, the first one was a slight fiasco when he hit his face in the shirt, but the second one was a corker, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's how he finishes him in training, believe it or not. He gets, gets through in training like that and crashes him into the back of the net. Uh, I'm delighted for Gary. Apparently, it's his first one in his career. So, as it gets, once again, it's a case of better late than never. Um, I hope he goes on for it. I mean, there's nothing I would like more than to give more of our players a ball every, every week after a game. Um, no, I'm really pleased for him.